He goes, you're talking my man all wrong. You do it again, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. No, he didn't. It's like he's, and he's like, got the wrong tone. Yeah, you got the wrong tone. Joining us in the Loop studio, the guys from By Hand. Hello, welcome. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Don't everybody jump out of their skins at <laughs> once. Happy hey, what's up? Good morning, guys. Um, let's talk about the movie. Tell us what it's about. Yeah, so By Hand's a film about these two uh, wild twin brothers. Back when they were 23 years old, they were dropped off in Ketchikan, Alaska with uh, 20 uh, 18 foot prone paddle boards, 70 pounds of gear. And they were self-contained and uh, unassisted and made their way down to Tijuana, Mexico on a, all by hand. So that's kind of the premise of the story. From Alaska to Mexico. That's it. Mm -hmm. On paddle boards. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> well, Kellen that's a good question for Kellen, him. You gotta see the movie, <laughs> Kellen Goat. So he dove into like the family dynamics, the background, basically everything that led up to us doing that and a lot of the influences from our dad and, and how we were raised. So that, you know, you gotta go see the movie. You know, Your dad told you guys to grab paddle boards and go from Alaska to Mexico? <laughs> oh, definitely not. Was it his way of like getting you out of the house or what? <laughs> no, he just, you know, he was a very, uh, he was a, an adventurous guy growing up. Heard a lot of stories growing up of guys, you know, men in our family that came before us, you know. My dad, you know, spe served in Vietnam and then, you know, was always out diving, riding Bronx, doing different, a uh, lot of, a lot of things that he was raised doing and I think that influence pushed us in that direction because a lot of the times you know today you get a lot of how do you say uh, you know people toss out adventures or the idea of going on a hike or something or going on a backpacking trip but you really I think you need to uh, put yourself in bad situations and stuff where things go wrong to learn and that's kind of the idea of a true adventure and I think that's something that drove us to pursue that but specifically the idea of paddle boarding from Alaska to Mexico, where's that idea even come from? Mm. Uh, drinking, drinking a couple beers one night, you know? <laughs> like every good idea. <laughs> Seemed like you a know? good idea at the yeah. time. And uh, we started talking about a big adventure. He wanted to take horses across Mongolia. It was like, we, we were kind of at a time in our lives, we both graduated college, and we're like, all right, we gotta do something to really test ourselves, and a big adventure. His idea was horses in Mongolia, a terrible idea. We didn't grow up with horses, they, would, they would have died for sure. It would have been a great idea, but we just didn't, you know. So we started talking they about it. They couldn't get him on board. Yeah. yeah. No, he was but, too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we grew up surfing, so uh, it was more natural for us to do basically like, all right, let's get on boards and we'll start paddling like we're surfing. You know, go up to, uh, we, first we talked about California and then Alaska and Mexico, and no one had done it, which had some appeal to it because you kind of, dive into something where there's so much to learn because there's no no playbook to go off of. Right. And that's where the idea came from. Right. Leading up to that point, what's the biggest adventure you had done so far? I Nothing that big. No, I mean, it, like, yeah, it's kind of so hard. you just bid this whole thing it's off kind of hard once, compared. Right? Yeah, so you we, just went straight for the hardest thing you could think we'd of. We'd done, like, he'd done Ironman triathlons and we'd done, you know, fights and, and stuff fighting, like that. Yeah. And uh, just small time you know, go out for a couple days without anything and hike around and just see how it goes, you know, not, but nothing anywhere near this. Yeah, not, nothing comparable, you could say. Yeah. yeah. And then, Kellen, how'd you get involved with the project? So, um, these guys were gung-ho to do this trip and one day Ryan caught up with me. We, we grew up in the same town, so it's a small town. We live in San Luis Obispo, California. Um, and yeah, he just said it. He's like, hey, you know, interested if you want to jump on board with this idea we're gonna get dropped off in Alaska I just needed to hear them say that to, to know that I wanted to tell that story so yeah we drove uh, from California up to Ketchikan and uh, dropped off of the truck waved goodbye and you know saw him a handful of times down the coast and did as many trips as I could and um, the, the bulk of the footage is is their content from the trip um, there this is seven months at sea Wow. So, so it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a lot of footage, a lot of stories uh, to weed through, and a lot, of, a lot of great moments happened and were captured. And, um, but yeah, I knew from the beginning that I wanted to be involved with, with anything this wild. I think you only get stories like this you know, once in a blue moon. So, yeah. yeah. What kind of training did you guys do leading up to the, the big adventure? Uh, we started with a, have you heard of the Molokai to Oahu training? Um, so Molokai to Oahu is the world championships of prone paddling. It's a 32 mile crossing. Uh, 
across the Kiwi channel, it's the channel of bones. So there, there was a, um, a training guide we found, printed that out, ran through that for a couple months and then started stacking on more mileage. And then that was pretty much it. Most of the, there's a lot of training, but most of it's like logistical planning, you know, with all your charts and, you know, just studying that and getting your food drops correct and planning every day really specifically. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of planning that goes into this. It's not like yeah. anyone watching, you know, can just run out there and do that this weekend, right? I mean, there's a lot of planning that went into this thing. Yeah, you, could, you we, could try. We planned every <laughs> single, <laughs> kind of... we mapped based on water sources and nautical charts every single night, everywhere we were gonna go, every distance, every day. So we knew exactly where we were going. There's just so much you can't control out there. So you try to control everything you can. How many miles total? 2,200. Wow. How many, uh, what was your biggest mileage day? 30. 30. Yeah. 30 miles in a day. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. It worked out. I, I had to, you know, just motivate him the whole time and like give him push ups. Yeah. yeah. Long trash, trash, but I mean, biggest Go challenge along the way? I'm sure there was many, but something that sticks out? Just the day to day grind really is that, you know, you've had a, say we had a really tough day and it's been a really bad week and you're wet and cold and things kind of suck and you've got, you can't look ahead, you've got, you know, say 1,500 miles in front of you. So that can sort of seem insurmountable. So the big challenge is just to compartmentalize each day or each mile, you know, looking at maybe next tree along the coastline to get to, just trying to, trying to compartmentalize it. Well, I'm sure you had to keep each other motivated too, somewhat the whole time or something, right? I mean, like some brothers can't even, you know, <laughs> sit down and have a beer together, let alone go 2,200 miles on a paddleboard with each other. High so. quarters. Mm. Yeah. No, I mean, it, it says something <laughs> about your guys' relationship. Well, it, I, yeah, I think- They are uh, twins, too. Yeah, we, we <laughs> yeah. can uh, clash pretty hard, but you realize out there that you have this goal in mind and fighting out there isn't gonna be any, work towards any like efficient goal you're trying to reach. Like, you're not gonna get there any faster. It's only gonna inhibit what you're trying to do. So I think once we realized that, we couldn't, you could talk trash, but we're not gonna throw down out we there, We both you know? have the same goal in mind. It's like we had total commitment, no matter what, we're not gonna quit and we're gonna get down the coast. Mm -hmm. Whether we die in the process or whatever, it doesn't matter because we're 100% committed to it. Yeah. And when you ha take that level of commitment into it, we know that anything, fighting or whatever, it's not gonna be efficient. That's not to say we didn't argue a little bit, you know? And we, the motivation we do, I mean, I'll just talk shit to them. It's, I don't, I'm not gonna give them a little, yeah, we don't you know, pat each other on the back, you know? <laughs> I don't think that would help. Well, uh, so dad was all for this, but what did mom think? Uh, she was afraid that we were gonna hurt each other out there. She wasn't, she wasn't he's, really you know, worried about Alaska. These guys grew up pretty but... physical and pretty intense, uh, you know, clashes. So she, she had, a, she had a, 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 an honest fear of, of them, you know, hurting each other. Yeah, did you have to check in often? I mean, I don't know. There's nothing. There's no like you have. To, you didn't take like know. a satellite phone. We had a nothing? sat phone. Yeah, we yeah. check in. I think I'd call on food drops when we once hit in towns. a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, what an adventure! That's awesome. So okay, 2,200 miles paddle boarding, Alaska mm -hmm. to Mexico. What's the next adventure? Uh, we knocked off. We did the whole Western Peninsula of Baja this past year, and kind of paddle boarding that or footage, yeah, paddle boarding yeah. again. And now we're looking at some other stuff, mixing different disciplines in. So we'll wow. see what uh, well, what comes up. Have you gotten some attention from like sponsors, the advertisers? People want to jump on board, make you do some crazy things for no, money. Not, not really. really. No, not very marketable. <laughs> we don't hit the everybody? social media too hard. Yeah. To market it out. Hello, yeah. <laughs> REI. Somebody, anybody out there? Somebody listening? Yeah. Hello. They, Joe they Bark, want to uh, ride horses through Mongolia. <laughs> Joe Bark, who made the paddle, he helped us Credit out. He him. was the, one of the only people that believed in it from the beginning, who was on board. He shaped the paddle board. He's the best paddle board shaper in the world, and he made them for us. And But that's why we're here. We're, yeah. we're stoked yeah. to be here at Mammoth, and we're yeah. super grateful to show the film today. And you know, thank, thanks for uh, giving us this, this place to share the story. Yeah, yeah. sure. Man. And I, I think more importantly, too, is that like we did this expedition, but we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Kellen taking that creative vision on it, you know, turning this into a film. It would just be this, you know, a cool paddle journey, but he really took yeah. this whole thing. And What's interesting about these guys is they didn't have any sponsorship. They self-funded their trips, their ideas. They're, they weren't in it to make a movie, per se, you know, so they're really humble guys, and it's a, it's a great story that we're excited to share and hopefully get out there so people can hear about it. But, you know, they're not the types to make a big uh, to-do about what they're up to. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, maybe the first of many adventures, though, that you guys are going to film and make a documentary out of. It's cool. 
Very cool. Um, since we're at a film festival, let me ask you some random movie questions. We can go rapid fire with this thing. Uh, right off the bat, what movie makes you cry? <laughs> there will be blood. <laughs> Does that make you cry? Yeah. Probably Total Recall when he's, <laughs> when he's falling down on Mars, like he's, his head's blown up. And just really that is a heavy scene. That touched me. Sure. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Rocky One. Rocky, <laughs> sorry, Rocky One. one. Yeah. Rocky One makes you cry. Really? Crazy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> First movie you remember seeing in theaters? Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I think it was Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Titanic as a little kid. Yeah. Could also be a movie that makes you cry. Does it? But no. No, I just. I think I get excited. She could have shared <laughs> that piece of wood with him. Like they, he did, you know. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Uh, um, you got any favorite movie quotes? Oh. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm the guy that does his job. You must be the other guy. Yeah. What is that for? The, the Departed. <laughs> oh. I didn't even know that one. <laughs> I think How does he say it though, Kellen? Can you do it? <laughs> no, that's as, good, that's as far as I'm gonna go. go. <laughs> we got a little Boston, you know? I got no Boston. Uh, how about yeah, uh, Schwarzenegger's got so many good one-liners? Yeah. What happened he, to Scully? I let him go. She's like, what happened to Scully? He's like, I let him go. And he's oh like, no! What about the? He dropped him off. What? You guys? What about? The, what about the? the oh yeah. Brace. Oh, quote about Christopher oh, yeah. Walken. Yeah, the, yeah, the predator like quote. Ripping them people the, in jail. Yeah, dirt. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? No, do it with, with your brother here. Do it with you and mm -hmm. the Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, come on. No, come on. Come on, do you it. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do He's that. He's got too many cameras on him. Dylan, you son of a bitch. Dylan, yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> come on, do it. You got to do it. And yep. then they lock it, and then yep. it's just like a tight shot, you know. Yeah, Oily about. biceps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What about, yeah pretty uh, classic. Uh, Christopher Walken and Joe Dirt. Yeah. Stab him in the face with Yeah, he goes, hair. what does he say? He's... Yeah. <laughs> He goes, you're talking my man all wrong. You do it again, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. No, he got like he's, and he's like, the wrong tone. Yeah. You got the wrong tone. You do it again. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm gonna stab you in the face. I like yeah, that. that's a lot of that, good ones. I love all of his, anything he says, it's great. Any Christopher Watt, anything he says, yeah, it's good. Anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are a lot of fun. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on the movie. And that's Mammoth <laughs> FF keeping you in the loop. Unless you get like 25 inch biceps, you're not gonna knock that out of here. Yeah.